hi guys today i'll be showing you all how to recreate this makeup look it's a very fall makeup look it has those purple whiny eyes and dark lips which are very very fall appropriate so if you guys are interested in recreating the look please keep on watching right now i'm in my bare face and i have just applied my lip balm First of all, I'll be applying this Face Shop White Seed Serum on my face. It's a very good moisturizer. Along with that, it will act as a very good base for my makeup. I'll apply it all over my face. Once I'm done with that, I'll be taking my Beauty Blender and my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade Classic Ivory and will first spread it all over my face with my fingers. Now with the Beauty Blender, I will press this foundation on my skin all over. This foundation is a medium coverage foundation guys and uh, it is available in so many of the shades i think all of you can most of you at least can get your uh, matching skin matching shade uh, it's very easy to blend this foundation Once I'm done with that, I'll be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand Sable and will apply it under my eyes as a highlighter, as a highlighting concealer. I'll be applying on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, on my eyelids as well to cancel out any uh, natural pigmentation which is present there so that my eyeshadows which I will use later will pop and then on my chin basically on all the high points of my face so that to give them a little highlighting effect now again I'll blend it with the beauty blender Once I'm done with that, I'll be taking this contour shade from my Makeup Revolution Iconic Palette in the shade 01 and apply it to give my face a little definition. Foundation makes the face look a little flat, so contouring provides the definition. So I'll be applying it under my cheekbones. On both the sides I'll be applying on my cheekbones and after that I'll be applying it on my jaw bones and my forehead as well. After contouring my face, I'll be taking the same contour shade and will be applying it with a thinner brush on my nose on my both sides just lightly to provide a little definition to my nose as well and then blend it. Once I'm done with that, I'll be using just a bit of compact to just set my foundation and concealer in place. I'm just lightly dusting my face with the compact.
after this let's move on to the eyes guys I'll be taking this dark brown shade from my Makeup Revolution palette and will use as my transition shade for my eyelids, both the eyes. I usually go for a lighter transition shade but for this look I thought this color is more appropriate. So I'll apply it on both the eyelids and my crease and will blend it seamlessly. Once I'm done with that, I'll move on to the next color. Now I'll be taking this very light pinky white color from the Maybelline Blush Nudes palette and will concentrate on my outer one half of my eyelid on both the eyes and little bit on the crease as well this will will provide a hint of pink color on outer half of my eyelids after this i'll be taking a little darker pink color from the same palette and will apply it on the outer one third of my eyelid and little bit on the crease i'll apply it on the both sides and will blend it with my fluffy brush again so that it all looks blended in together. After that, I'll be taking from the same palette this purple wine color and will concentrate only on my outermost side of the eyelid and little bit on my crease. And after this, I will be blending it with my blender brush. Blending is a key to any good eye makeup look. And after this, I'll be taking this beautiful wine colored eyeshadow and again, I'll be concentrating it only on my outer eyelids so as to provide a hint of more reddish viney color along with some purple color using different eyeshadows of similar color on your eyelids give them a gradient effect and makes them look more beautiful And now for the lower eyelid, I'll be first using the same purple shade from my Maybelline Blush Nude palette and will apply it all over my lower eyelids. And after this, I'll be taking the same shade from that same wine shade I took and will apply it over that purple color on my lower eyelid. Using two colors like that gives the lower eyelid also a smoky effect. And again, I'll blend, blend and blend. Now guys, I'll be using my uh, color bar arch rival eye definer in the shade Jerry Brown and I will define my eyebrows. I'm just lightly defining my eyebrows here it's a very very natural shade for the beginners it's a beautiful eyebrow pencil because it's not very creamy so that your application you need not to be very precise in your application After this, I will be using my NYX Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso just to set my eyebrows.
Once I'm done with that, I'll be using my eyelash curler on both my eyes to curl my lashes first before using my mascara. After this, I'll be taking my favorite mascara, which is L'Oreal False Lash Superstar Mascara. It has two sides. At first, I'll be using the first side, side one, which is a primer side. It primes your eyes first. First, you have to apply this on both your eyelashes and wait for some time for it to dry. After 30 seconds, I'll be applying the other side of the mascara, which is the actual side of the mascara, side number 2. I'll just be using one coat of this mascara on my eyes guys, because I, I'll be using falsies later. But you guys can apply 2 or 3 coats if you want a very natural yet, but very uh, thick eyelashes. I'll just go and get my falsies done. Yes, I've applied my false eyelashes guys and this is how it looks. Now it's time for the blush and I'll be taking my studio best blush in the shade Desert Rose which is one of my favorite favorite blush and be applying it on the apples of my cheeks. It's a very beautiful light pink colored blush. Once I'm done with the blush, I'll be taking this highlighter shade from the same iconic palette from Makeup Revolution and will apply it with the same blush brush on the highest point of my cheeks just above my blush to give my face the highlighting effect. I'll be applying it on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, on my forehead as well as on the upper side of my lips, on basically on all high points. Now I'll be taking my L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Pure Garnet and I'll apply that. It's one of my favorite, favorite lipstick. So guys, this is the finished look. Hope you all like it. And if you all like this look, which is a very, very fall makeup look, as you can see, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And please come back for more videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.